Hey Bridger, uh, my name is Levi. I live in Sedona, Arizona, and I heard about what happened to you. I remember when I was about your age, I actually got bit in the stomach by a really mean dog. I saw your story and it instantly touched me and it, it made me so happy to see somebody that's so brave and uh, you protected your little sister and good job. You're a good kid. You're a really good kid. Yesterday, I was out training with the uh, search and rescue team here in Sedona. I'm gonna probably get on the search and rescue team to help people when they go out in the forest and they get lost. And I told the people that I was with that we were gonna, uh, that I wanted to find some rocks for you. So my friend Denise, the first one we found is this one. And she says, it looks like <clears throat> two little hearts that are stuck together. She said, this one, Looks like the big brother, and this one looks like the little sister. So I figured that would be a good one for you. Now these red rocks, if you don't know anything about them yet, these are mainly made out of sandstone. And the sandstone has a lot of iron inside of the rocks. I'm not a rock expert, so this is just the stuff that I've recently been learning. So I might be wrong about some of it, but double check just to make sure. Uh, maybe you have some other rock friends. This has a lot of iron inside of it. And when the iron is exposed to oxygen for a long time, they call it iron oxide, which is also what creates rust on metal. So that's why here in Sedona, we have a bunch of these red rocks everywhere. So that's this one. And then I also found this one that I thought was really interesting that I wanted to send you because it is an, it's another red rock, but it also has just plain white sandstone, which might also have some limestone in it. And then I also found it's got some of this black stuff on here. Now this black stuff, <clears throat> actually there's a lot more on this side. This black stuff is actually, the way I've been taught is that this is actually lichen. It's a living organism. And some scientists came to Sedona a few years back and they were doing studies on this lichen. And they said that it's anywhere from 1,000 to 4,000 years old. So, um, just on this one little rock, you have so much history. You've got the iron, you've got the lichen. Um, oh, that's right, there's also quartz. Inside all these red rocks, there's a lot, a lot of quartz. So when people in Sedona say there's a lot of energy inside this town. And the reason why is this quartz vibrates really fast. I think it's almost 30,000 rotations per second. Um, so when people come to Sedona, they say they feel like a lot of energy in this town. So all this stuff has quartz in it and that's, that's, you know, quartz is in like watches. It helps keep the time. Uh, it's in all of our cell phones. So quartz is everywhere, but it's also inside this rock. So anyway, I just wanted to send you these two rocks. I thought you would find them really interesting. I hope you recover well. Keep us posted on everything. We're sending you lots of love, buddy. Bridger, you're a good kid. Keep up the good work. And um, I hope you become a geologist and help solve all kinds of issues that are going on in the world. Good job. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.